Hi guys, welcome to Chart History. This is my latest um, project with RSVP in their beautiful new studios. So back in 2012, we filmed my debut project, Chart Shark, which sold out and done extremely well. And now this is the second volume, Chart History. So what you're gonna find is routines ranging from extremely um, easy, almost self-working, all the way up to finger bleeding and quite technical. There's something for everyone, all of them are extremely visual, and some of them, most of them come from my existing working repertoire. I hope you enjoy. The second ace takes just a matter of time. Like this, the next one should appear like so. If you actually shake, that'll be ace number three. So the last one we need to find is the lady's best friend, diamonds, yeah? So you actually watch the ace, this one should appear mid-air. So that should be spade, hearts, clubs, ace of diamonds. Thank you. So in this case, uh, what's we'll called it when Batman skips church, Christine Bale. There's actually one card I can see the card. There's actually in the deck, there should be one card back. That should land under the box. This should be the free of space. Okay, so ladies, here we are again. So by this point, you've seen a lot of card tricks. You're probably wondering, how do they work? And you're also thinking, how could one man be so good with his hands and so handsome? <laughs> Let me elaborate. <laughs> if we cut the deck like so, I actually have two assistants to do all the work for me, the two jokers, yeah? yeah. I'm gonna leave these to one side like so. Now, usually in this trick, you have to memorize cards, etc. so it can be a lot for you to mentally juggle. So I'm, to make the job easier, I've taken one, two, three, four, five cards of one single suit and we're going to try and find them in order. So as long as you can count to five, we'll be able to do this effect, right? So I'm going to place the cards in the deck like so. You can see they're being segued into different parts of the pack, yeah? Mm -hmm. So at this point, you see the cards are completely lost in different parts of the deck. So what's going to happen, we're going to um, shuffle the cards in like this and give those a quick shuffle like so. So if I can get you to um, choose each, each joker, which one would you want to use first? This one. Yeah, can you place that face up on top of the deck for me? And so if you can place the other one just on here. So you notice I'm not going to come anywhere near the pack at this point, yeah? Mm -hmm. We're going to make the cards appear one at a time like this. That should be the first one, yeah? That should be the ace. Yep. And I'll place that one just over here if you put your finger on top of that. And almost ninja style, if we actually dribble the cards on the table, you can actually grab one from the very center, yeah? Okay. Now the interesting thing about this, if this one was the ace, logically this should be the... Uh, two. Two, yeah? If we actually go like this and actually snap, and they come in contact for just a moment, you can see this actually changes to the eighth. Yeah? Okay. So I'll place the um, card over here, which means one logical conclusion. If you lift that up and turn it over, that should be the two. 
Yeah? Excellent. Now this time, you notice, obviously, I've been um, sort of manipulating the cards. The Joker's been coming close to the deck. But this time, we're going to actually try something slightly different. We're actually give them a little pass from our hands like so. You can see here, the Joker's actually trapped the three. Yeah? yeah. If I pass them through my hand again, you can see this time, they actually trap the four. The one interesting thing about this, almost like a special illusion, you can actually make the Jokers completely vanish. Yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> Which is quite strange in itself, right? Yeah. So we um, give a deck a cut like so. To bring the um, Jokers back, we snap my fingers, that will be one. And we cut the deck again like so. The next one should be about 20 or so cards down in the center of the deck. Should be this Joker <laughs> here. Now, that was all very fast, but this is going to happen very slow. Um, if I can get you to choose um, either one you like. Yeah, this one, do you want that to go on top or bottom? Top. top, yeah. So by default, we'll place this one on the bottom. So we're going to repeat the exact same trick again, but in slow motion. I actually cast my hand over the cards like so. And you can see the first one vanishes, yeah? And if you snap my fingers again, that's when you see the second one vanishes. So the first one travels up, the second one travels down. You notice the first one probably descends approximately about 16 or so cards down, yeah? And the next one raises up about 16 or so cards from the bottom. But this time, if you actually put your hand out for me, and you can actually square the cards, yeah? Like this. And if you snap your fingers, and I think you've done this. Now, whether you notice they were different parts of the deck, yeah? This time we snap, we go through one last time. You can see the jokes actually trap one card this time. And hopefully that should be the last one. Five. Of clubs. And that is sequential extension. Thank you.